What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here to discuss the brand new Gymshark rest day and pause pieces that have just launched. And don't worry, you are in the right place. I know, I mixed up the background a little bit. Welcome to my closet. Now typically I wouldn't even dream of filming in here because that road right back here that you might or may not see is so freaking loud. There's always loud trucks. It is a main vein road here in New Jersey. So then why are you filming here today, Ash? I'll tell you why. We are expecting a shit storm today, AKA a massive blizzard. I am so excited because that means there's less people on the road. Therefore it's quieter and I can have some peace and quiet in my life for once. We're very excited because Gymshark launched some real stellar pieces this month. Everything you see in today's video is already on site. I will have everything linked below for your convenience. I know what you are thinking. Rest day, pause. They're awfully similar. They fit in the same niche. 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 <laughs> Fuck that part up. They are both loungewear and athleisure. However, Gymshark has spruced up the rest day collection quite a bit. You guys watch my YouTube videos, you know I really love the rest day sweats. They just came out last year. I've been obsessed ever since. They're my favorite Gymshark sweats to date. And now they are expanding the collection. They have now recently launched brand new rest day seamless sets. So that's what we're gonna be discussing today along with the new pause that just launched. But before we get into this video, if you are not already, please do consider subscribing. We we cover a ton of Gymshark here on this channel, along with other very popular brands. So rest day's not just oversized sweats anymore. We now have seamless sets. So I have the coffee brown color and the black. I'm actually wearing the matching bralette as we speak. They also launched in blue as well. My first impression when touching up on these sets was that it reminded me a lot of the Power Down. Do you remember the Power Down collection? That real powdery soft feel. Let's take a look at this detail. First of all, <laughs> first of all, this coffee brown color, more of a clay. If you look closely, there's a ton of different ribbing going in different directions. We have some smooth spots, but yet some real heavy ribbing going on. I actually think that the overall design is spot on. They added a little bit of something without being over the top. This is one solid color. They didn't try breaking it up with all these funny looking colors. They kept it really simple and relatively minimal. This set as a whole is pretty dang thick. You don't have any bra pads. There's not even an option to add a bra insert, which is why this is really just designed for a rest day, wearing casually, lounging around the house, or throwing a tank or a sweater over. No adjustments whatsoever. If you look closely, there's a little bit of length in the front, almost like a cropped vest. In the back is where they mix things up, add a little bit of swoopage going on here, showing a lot of lower back, a lot of upper back too. From far away, this looks like one of those twist tops, but it's not. Now, even though this is a seamless set, you can feel this particular bulky seam at the bottom of the bra. This is what I feel over anything. Overall, very comfortable bra, but I feel this. I do. Now, I got everything in my true size small. The tops here, these bralettes, you can absolutely size down in. I feel like there's a lot of extra material right around here, so I could have gotten away with sizing down. In terms of the legging, this set is very stretchy. Very, very stretchy, very comfortable. It better be, because it's rest day, damn it. But we do have a problem here, and that problem is that this coffee brown and the black legging fit entirely different. <laughs> and they're both in a size small, so I'm confused. I was like, wait, did I order in the wrong size? No. The coffee brown legging is a million times more compressive in the waistband. It's like totally different. To the point where I said, wow, if I could do it all over again, I would actually size up a full size in the coffee brown legging, whereas the black, not at all. So pros and cons, like this is very comfortable, my true size, the black is great, but I did wear it out to the grocery store last night. I had a little bit of an issue. Now the overall fit, the compression of the band is just how I like it, super comfy. But I noticed as I was walking, doing a ton of walking, I actually felt it slip a little bit. So right at the groin area is where they were starting to get a little bit of extra room here, you know, when it's pulling away from the crotch, slowly sliding down. So I have a little predicament going on here with the leggings. The bralettes are great, the leggings, they're tricky. They're very tricky. They're definitely not squat proof at all either. So if you're even considering wearing it to yoga class or whatever you got your mind on, girl, don't even. The fact that it was shimmying down is sad because I was like, dude, these would have been perfect because I do like the thickness. I love the stretch. So comfortable. 
and to not totally try to rain on your parade, but I did get a camel toe in this. So just keep in mind, these are not gym leggings. They're not seamless gym leggings. They haven't been mastered yet. This is Gymshark's first go at the rest day seamless set. So I hope that a little bit of tweaking, maybe next round, will fix a few of the little imperfections. Have we noticed Gymshark mixing up the oversized rest day sweats? Now they're going for some more cropped pieces and even a full length pullover. Let's first talk about the cropped pullover, shall we? Now this is in the black marl color. Also available in steel blue and orange blaze. So I decided to grab the black marl. It has a very charcoal tone to it, obviously, because of the marl breakup. Thought it would look cute with the coffee color. I don't know, something about it said, you know what? Yeah, I think it looks cute, what do you think? This is a very boxy fit. My true size small is perfection. I think you could get away with sizing down, but it's meant to be a little bit oversized. So I think your true size is the way you wanna go with this, that's just me. I really think the layered collar look is unique. I like that they did that. It's all one piece. It looks like there's literally a built-in second layer. It's got an overall slouchy kind of look. The drop sleeve really adds that element to this piece just being very casual, a little bit oversized with the sleeves. I think it's cute if you wanna wear it to the gym. I definitely would warm up in this. I think it's perfect for the people who don't want to wear tight, long sleeves to the gym. If you prefer a little more of that pump cover look where it's a little baggier, this is great to warm up in because it's not plush. The liner is that rest day sweat liner that we all love, I know I do. You know when you wear soft fleece or plush lined pieces, and when you sweat even just a little bit, it sticks? This rugged texture is definitely something you could use for the gym. Another good option is the half zip pullover. This is in a lilac marl. I don't know what possessed me to go purple right now, but it's also available in green and light gray. So this is actually a full length for those who prefer a little more length, you don't really want the cropped pullover, you have the ribbed collar, so really nice high neck. Full kangaroo pockets. Again, the drop sleeve, super slouchy, casual look. Same exact lining as the other sweatshirt you just saw. Let's talk some paws. Not gonna lie, these are definitely more of my pieces than the new rest day. Just an FYI, in case you're wondering. <laughs> Which do you prefer? Definitely the new paws, actually. It's crazy. Your most loved collection, they come out with something new and you just don't love it as much as you would hope to have loved it. But then they come out with something you didn't expect to love and now you love it. I know that makes sense in my own head. So they launched Paws Knitwear. Luxurious lounge sets. So we're looking at the knitwear hoodie and the knitwear pants. This is in the color Pebble Gray. Also available in black. The first thing I noticed about the knitwear is the worn look that they added onto all the trims, all the seams here. So it's not just one color. If you look closely, there's two different shades going on here. I think it adds a little bit of a worn look while still looking very sophisticated, luxurious, and cozy. The hoodie, ugh. The way the hoodie lays with the pants is perfection. This is my ideal perfect lounge set where it doesn't look like I just threw on random t-shirt, random pants. I can answer the door and have confidence in this. You have the kangaroo pocket. I also love the fact that they did the embroidery on these pieces, as they should. With pieces this nice and this good of quality, an embroidery is a must. Really digging the V-neck style, the hood is very lightweight, pretty large too. No heavy hood syndrome, you know, when it bogs you down and chokes your neck out, you don't deal with that here. You have a really nice loungy lay. I have to say, they nailed this set. The pants. Ooh, the pants. They played with the split hem on the bottom of these wide leg pants. So comfortable. It actually fit me pretty well. So in terms of length, okay, I'm five foot three. The material, even wearing slippers, was touching the floor ever so slightly. If I'm barefoot, forget about it. It's dragging on the floor. I have a size small in top and bottom. They are oversized, so if you're in between, you could get away with sizing down. Me, I'm sticking with my true size. I love that oversized feel and fit. In terms of material, it's nice and dense, but there's no plush lining, and it's not as rugged as like that terry cotton rest day sweat, so it's relatively soft inside, but no plush lining. Good. You also have pockets on the pants and a really nice stretch. So this is not a stiff material, 
there's a lot of room to play with this set. If you're looking for ultimate cozy feels, this is it. Now to switch things out and mix it up a bit, I also grabbed the Pebble Gray Turtleneck. This is the knitwear, the same exact material as you just saw. What I like about this mixture is the fact that if I'm at home, I'll wear the other set. Lounging, watching some Netflix, all good. Getting some baking done, that's the set you wanna wear. Now say I wanna dress it up just a little bit. I need to take a trip to the grocery store because I forgot baking soda. This is where I will throw the turtleneck on real quick and a long trench coat. Boom, out the door with some boots, you're good. I think they nailed the versatility in this collection because as much as I love straight active wear, I'm not always at the gym and I don't always need seamless everything. In fact, I'm lounging watching Netflix more than I am at the gym, so. I'll get more use out of this. <laughs> but look at this turtleneck though. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? They actually designed this piece as a bralette contour. So if you look closely, you can see where they added in the extra heavy rib right around the boobs. <laughs> So if you look closely, you can see where they added the real heavy ribbed contouring right around the chest area. Got the embroidered logo straight down here. Again, this is in my true size small. I do really love my true size small in these pieces. The only thing I will say is if you move around a lot in this turtleneck, it tends to move with you in not the best ways where it'll shimmy up and just stay that way. This is definitely gonna move, crease, move around and things like that. Last but not least, we're looking at the Paws Borg Pullover. Ooh, this is in the color Pebble Gray and they also came in black. Here's a comparison of the Pebble Gray slash cement knitwear and just the Pebble Gray Pullover. So it's definitely different shades, but ultimately they can go, because if you look closely right here on the seams, you can see a little bit of that darker cement brown. So you could definitely make it work. This is a full on Sherpa, that's that Sherpa feel inside and out. Now this is a full length pullover. They did add draw cords on both sides so that you can cinch it in a little bit. Full kangaroo pocket. The pocket is not Sherpa. It actually matches the cuff lining. You have a built in wrist cuff. Now I have to admit, I'm not a huge fan of this white zip. Like I wish that they kept it a little more neutral because you don't see any other pops of white anywhere. So it almost looks unfinished right there. I'm just being picky. Yeah. Yes, I am. If you look closely, you can see that the Gymshark text they added right onto these buttons twice over. On the back is where you'll find the logo patch. So my true size small works. I think if you're in between, you might wanna size up because there's not a ton of stretch in this Sherpa material. Now, if you're actually looking for warmth out of all these pieces, this is the one you wanna go for. This, you'll break a sweat in instantly. Now there are more pieces to these collections than what I shared with you today. But if I had to go based off of what I tried today, without a doubt, the Paws Collection wins. I can't get over the knitwear. I think that everything was pretty spot on in terms of the design, the fit, the feel, the attention to details, especially the contouring and design. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. Comment down below if you've tried any of these pieces and what your thoughts are. And if you have any questions that I didn't cover in today's video, always feel free to comment down below. Let me know and I'll try my best to help you out. Depending on if the Honor Active Timeless Collection doesn't sell out today, cause it's launching today. Bay is on the phone right now about to order some pieces for me. <laughs> It seems to be good, right? We're good, we're solid, we're getting some pieces, good. So the Honor Active Timeless Collection will probably be our last video of the year. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. We will be picking up with our last video of the year, as long as we get these Honor Active pieces, right after Christmas. I love you guys and thank you for being here. We'll catch you in our last video of the year. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not, I don't know.